So here's where I really want to get to today. You guys made a decision to have sex. You ended up pregnant. Here we are. Who cares? Oh, well, that's what we got. Well, what do we do now? What do we do now? How do you beat the odds? How do you end up with an amazing life, like my wife created for herself, versus the, st the statistics? How do you not become a statistic? Well, the answer is, you do all the little things, and you do them every day, and you watch those little things add up. So give me about five minutes. I know this is going to seem weird, but I promise there's a point to it. You guys take chemistry class. In chemistry, you learned about hydrogen. And hydrogen is the smallest element on the periodic table. It's made of one proton. Hydrogen is so small, but it's the most abundant element in the universe. And if we take a hydrogen molecule over here and a hydrogen molecule over here, and we slam it together, what happens when we slam two teeny tiny hydrogen molecules together? It created the universe. Our universe was created when two teeny tiny hydrogen molecules slammed together and that created the universe. A very, very, very small action with huge, huge impact. Imagine a young girl walking through a field. She's walking through a field and she sees a dandelion and she reaches down and she picks up the dandelion and she blows. What happens to the dandelion? All those seeds spread. One teeny tiny action by one little girl walking through one field. But what happens? The downstream effect. Those seeds were spread. If we come back in three months, that field is covered in beautiful flowers because that one action spread the seed everywhere. This is what your life is like. Your life is like a ripple effect. You came here today. Just by showing up today, there will be ripple effects in your life. Some of you will decide a birth control method today that impacts you and helps you prevent the second pregnancy. Some of the dads will feel motivated to stay involved of your life. Some of you will make choices to protect yourself and not put yourself at risk of catching a sexually transmitted disease. It's these little teeny tiny moments, these teeny tiny decisions that shape the ripple effect in our life. Let me tell you a story of an ob who changed the world. An ob doctor just like me delivers babies. He's Hungarian. He was working at a time when women came to the hospital and died. And he had this crazy idea. His crazy idea is that maybe doctors should wash their hands. Maybe doctors shouldn't go dissect the corpses and then walk over and deliver the babies. And he made all the doctors and all the nurses and all the hospitals start washing their hands. And guess what? Lives were saved. But the ripple effect occurred. People started to wonder, why? Why did it matter if you wash your hands? You know what it was? Germs. That was the discovery of germs. The idea that we could pass an infection from one person to the other. But it was one ob doctor telling people to wash their hands. The little decisions you make don't always have a positive ripple effect. The little teeny tiny decisions you make every day can have negative ripple effects. Please don't raise your hand when I ask this question. Do not raise your hand. How many of you have ever sent a naked picture of yourself via Snapchat? How many of you have ever gotten a naked picture from somebody else? It's 26% of you. It's one out of four. Those little moments, that turns into the TV show 13 Reasons Why. Why was 13 Reasons Why so good? Not because it was a freaky thing that doesn't ever happen. It was so good because it happens to all of you. This is real. Some of you are going to graduate high school. You're going to send a resume to our office to get hired in our front desk. Guess what we're going to do? First thing we're going to go do, look at your Instagram account, your Snapchat account, your Facebook and your Twitter account. Okay? And when your handle says Sexy Latina 2029, we're moving on to the different resume. If there's a picture of your Instagram and you got a little nalga hanging out, we're done. We're moving on. Our life has a ripple effect. The little things that we decide every single day impact the rest 
of our life. Who we date, who we hang out with, this impacts you. No one has the right to treat you wrong. Not a sexual partner, not a boyfriend, not a girlfriend, not a friend. If you're in a relationship that's toxic to you, move on. And I don't just mean romantic relationships. These are friends too. Surround yourself with people who care about you, who are thinking about you, who want you to succeed. And those little teeny tiny decisions will follow you down the road. How small of a decision can impact your life? Very small. One cell. You guys are in this room because of one cell. You ovulated. An egg came out. One sperm found that egg. One cell, one sperm, and here we are. Now we have a baby. And now our lives are changed forever. And now we're in the TAPS program. And we're here, and the question becomes, what are you going to do next? I've been giving this talk since 2004. This is how I end the talk every single year. I tell you the story of my wife, and I tell you how she overcame the odds, and I challenge each one of you to write me a letter in 10 years. So jump ahead to 2029. I will still be at MacArthur OBGYN right across the street from MacArthur High School. Write me a letter and tell me the story of your life. Tell me what happened to you. Did you go on like the statistics say? Did you have three more kids, different fathers of the baby, working a crappy job, living in a crappy apartment? Maybe you graduated, maybe you didn't. Or did you go on and succeed? Did you create an amazing life for yourself and for your baby? Over the years, people who attended this conference have written me letters. Look at this one in the top right. I was here in the TAPS conference at Irving in 2004. She was here. In 2014, she wrote me her letter. This one talks about how her child is now in all honors classes and doing all pre-AP classes. She succeeded. This one wrote a letter how she's attending college and she now has a dream of being a certified nurse midwife so I'm getting choked up again, and working at MacArthur OBGYN. She was you. She was you. And in a couple of more years, she may be sitting over there, one of the midwives working at MacArthur OBGYN. I want you to realize, guys, one decision lots of impact one life this is all we get you have one chance you are young your life can be anything you want the life of your child can be anything you want but you have to decide what it is and then you have to decide how to get there I'm gonna just ask a couple of people something now can you stand up for a second are you important? Are you important to the world? Yes, you are. You are important to me. Can you stand up? Do you have dreams yes. for yourself yes. and for your baby? Yes. Good, stay standing. Can you stand up? Are you important? Yes. Do you believe in yourself? Yes. Do you believe that you will succeed? Yes. Yeah, everybody stand up. This is the last thing. I want you to stand up because I want your attention. All of you are important. All of you matter. All of you have the opportunity to create an amazing life for yourself, an amazing life for your child. All you have to do is dream. Dream big. Think big and go for it. Never be afraid to succeed. All right, you can sit down now. This is how to find me. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.
complete, the day will be as good as you make it. So when you go into the small groups and you have a chance to speak with the doctors and the nurse practitioners, ask questions, engage them. When you're traveling into the gym and you're going to the different vendors, don't just walk through and get a piece of candy and get your, your thing signed. Talk with them, find out what services they offer. How can they help you? What could you get out of it? I promise those of you who reach out and ask, you will get so much more out of it than those who just go through the motions. I'm gonna tell you really quick, I'm gonna leave this slide up for a second. If you want to get your phones out and take a picture of that, um, that's our website, that's our phone number. We're happy to see you and we'd love to take care of you. Thank you so much.